I just want to let you know we're still working this hour by hour. I do not have an update for you on the hostage uh, uh, deal that we're trying to negotiate. Uh, but as you heard the Deputy National Security Advisor say yesterday, uh, we believe we're closer than we've ever been. So we're hopeful. Israel and Hamas are closer to an agreement to release dozens of hostages held in Gaza. The agreement will likely include the exchange of 50 women and children hostages for a four to five day pause in fighting and three Palestinian prisoners for every civilian hostage released. The deal's details could change, or the deal itself could fall apart due to circumstances there. Should the agreement come to fruition, it could be the first of multiple. This will release less than a fourth of the roughly 240 people who are presumed to be held by Hamas and have been for about six weeks. President Joe Biden said he believes the sides are nearing an agreement, which the Qatari government has played an instrumental role in pursuing. Israeli leaders said they will not agree to any sort of indefinite ceasefire that doesn't include the release of all hostages. To date, five hostages have been freed and the bodies of two others have been recovered. But the well-being of the more than 230 others remains unknown.